that would be the deadlies. It's creepy yeah. coffee movie time. Tonight's movie, Women's Deadlies. from Devil's Islands. And uh, we're going to take a little quick break from the breast fest. Bring some uh, comedy to the cave, Balrock, if I may. Uh, please do. Let's lighten the mood up. This whole slavery digging for gold thing is a little depressing. No doubt. Uh, local comic people you've seen our last comic standing. Put your hands together for Candy Judy! <laughs> I have to say I'm a little hurt. You said let's take a break from the breast fest. Come on. Ah, uh, see. Oh my God. But anyway, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, my name is Candy, like from the Bible. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, my real name is Candace, but my parents started calling me Candy when I was a baby, so I'd grow up to be a big whore. Yeah. How we doing? <laughs> Anyway, I'm so happy to be here. We have all sorts of interesting characters here. I feel like I'm in the movie Avatar or something. Um, actually, I've never seen Avatar, and I'm not going to see it, okay? I read that people are seeing Avatar, and they are so blown away by this beautiful, mystical world that's shown in this movie that when they get back to real life, which sucks by comparison, they get very depressed. Now, I already went through that with Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got sucked into the reality TV thing. Um, I have to say, my new favorite show is on A&E. It's called Hoarders. Okay, I dare you to watch that show and not clean afterwards. <laughs> Sometimes in the middle of the episode. But I feel like Hoarders doesn't really, like the title of the show doesn't totally capture the spirit of what the show's about. I think they should change it to Find the Dead Cat. <laughs> really. <laughs> and then as if Hoarders wasn't enough, TLC has a new one called Hoarding. I love it. I've saved every single episode. <laughs> every single episode. Another favorite of mine is Toddlers and Tiaras. Oh my God. Okay, three year old girls wearing makeup that would rival a San Francisco drag queen. <laughs> Again, wrong title of the show. It should be called Rape My Kid. <laughs> yeah. I'm obsessed with this one reality show. It's, uh, it's about this polygamous family. Oh my God, all the women on the show have the same kind of hairstyle, they all wear the same kind of clothing, and they all sleep with the same creepy old guy. They live on this compound called the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Wild stuff. Speaking of AIDS, <laughs> I, uh, I had to change doctors because I asked my last doctor for an HIV test, and she actually looked at me and she laughed, and she said, you don't have HIV, you worry too much. I was like, no way, that's amazing. Most doctors have to draw blood and send it off to a lab. Like, where'd you go to medical school? Hogwarts Academy? <laughs> God. But she, it came out negative, but she did diagnose me with a very serious condition called restless vagina syndrome. <laughs> it's no laughing matter, people, Google it. It's not as uncommon as you would think. I actually have a prescription for medical penis, <laughs> which is great. I used to have to get it on the street. <laughs> Anyway, I'll leave you guys with this. I'm very happy that we're being sponsored by my favorite, my favorite beer of all time, um, S Sudverk. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I love drinking, and I hate when people are not supportive of drinking. Like my ex, he used to turn into a completely different person every single time I got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I've been Candy yeah. Chirillo. <laughs> <laughs>